Archidos Luis Noveira Serrano, President of the European Mugay Society, and we are here in Valencia, Spain at Humu Dojo. And today we have uh, shown you in a video with uh, the mastery of Shidos Yogan uh, a study called uh, Gen Pisa that never has been shown before in our channel. This Gen Pisa it's, uh, it's a study linked to a very special forces, a very special god. Uh, that used to act as mercenaries. This can be said if we analyze by the kanji, by the characters, those characters mean the gen that comes from uh, effect or efficacy, uh, p that comes from nichi that means day and uh, journey, and uh, finally that it's the, the sha that means person. Uh, then again, Pisa don't have any direct uh, translation as we need to understand them as mercenaries that have been offered to be the, mm, the, the, the main bodyguard uh, to protect a lord or to protect an important mm, uh, person uh, that could be uh, in, uh, in danger in some situation. Uh, these mercenaries, this can Pisa, it's employing those uh, ter these terminologies especially because uh, they usually has been used, has been employed only dur during the day, during a journey, uh, in order to protect in a special quest or a special uh, trip or something like that. These mercenaries were also offered as a present to defend as the one that needs to be the, the main protection, the shield of the law, the shield of the, of the uh, important uh, person. Then, uh, these can Pisa usually uh, are employed by uh, uh, taking those Gen Pisa uh, from other province or from other place in the country of the ancient Japan because this could cause some kind of fear uh, frightened because anyone knows the skills of this man and also will uh, act or behave as a, as a very dangerous person and uh, as I have uh, said uh, cause fear, cause uh, to, to, to get frightened the, the enemy because they don't know what could happen uh, with this man. Uh, then uh, moreover that it's also employed in order to avoid retaliations is to say uh, these men were not known in that province in that area then to, to don't have the ID the identity uh, uh, makes them to, to avoid or to don't have any risk on retaliations and, uh, and uh, any kind of, uh, of counter attacks to the family or to the or to whatever if they behave in a very violent or a very hot tough way then uh, the key here is to uh, apply very powerful techniques that the main principle the main goal will be uh, to uh, to take out the risk of out of the lord is to say some other bodyguards, some other mercenaries could protect the law, taking, uh, taking, it, uh, taking uh, him out or her out of the, of the area, but he is uh, needed to, uh, uh, to, uh, to take him from the problem, the trouble, in order to, uh, to be the main shield to avoid the, uh, the betrayal, to avoid the, the, this kind of circumstance. And for example, uh, the techniques employed need to be very used in the weight, mainly on jujutsu techniques, but there are specific techniques applied for them. Then today we have some with the mastery of Shidoji Odan, some ground techniques uh, uh, mainly uh, that could be developed on, uh, on gatherings, meetings or any kind of uh, formal meeting that the Lord or any of the uh, relates uh, of the of the Lord uh, need to, to attend. Then uh, today on this on this video I will show two techniques employing uh, on touchy techniques, it means standing up techniques. 
For example, if we are walking on this circus stand, I will have the aid here of my student Oscar San, Oscar San on AIDS map. Thank you for helping me. Uh, uh, what it will happen is if I am protecting the law and he tries maybe as the main seal to attack me, maybe drawing the soul, but the circus stands are very, very wide. Uh, mainly are employed on Shinken Sirahadori that we have shown on this morning and also here. Then, for example, if he tries, for example, to draw, I will stop and strike very hard as a way, as a way to control here. From here, I will rip the handle and passing over, I will have this strong control that will block, will be impossible to take out the hand. This is the key movement here because making a strong movement could break here on the wrist, could break those ones here. This avoid him is very painful and also we have the control here on the shoulder here that avoids him trying to maybe draw a, a tanto, a knife or any other hidden weapon on the other hand. From here what I will do is maybe I will perform a kagi here, make it here to go to the mouth or please stand it up. I will also with this pressure moreover a step on the knee on in front or a side in order that it would be a very break uh, and powerful movement. Right now I have slain, go to the ground, from here I feel knee also breaking the ankle here, it's a very powerful movement, I feel also step on this area of the leg, the calf, that is also uh, very weak on this position, a step in and from here I guarantee the control with my knee, take a look what is happening here, we have the control with the sword, on the other hand, and I place myself on this position that it could, moreover, the strong control that we have here, we have the control in the neck. It's very full, powerful movement, and we have here that this is like a scissors here. This is also very, very painful. Of course, this uh, location, this uh, placement of the body, it's very, very strong because with I weight me here, it's like a breaking movement on the neck and it's very very dangerous. We are using uh, extreme reactions to extreme situations. Of course we are protecting the law as a way of uh, or dying or living. Then uh, it's that matter, that subject here. Then this is the first technique that I explained here. The second one is very characteristic too. What I do is the same, I will stop, pump from here, I will move here, and I will wrap on this situation. What we have is the same, but on this control. This is also very painful, and we could have here also the neck here to control. From here, the same, I will knee breaking, I could strike on the groin, strike on the face, maybe tearing the eye, the nose, the mouth here uh, because we are on extreme situation as I have explained before but from here we will take him to the ground on this take a look what is happening here the, uh, the sword and the scaffold is pointing on the ground and controlling, avoiding him to turn around what we have here is the other hand stopping, this is very common we put aside take the control here and we have this also controlling technique from here we could press we could grab here on the head and bending in order to control we could for example keeping this, this control here sorry from here pressing and this is very also very powerful of course we could maybe from here, sorry, turning here and also break. And we have the both motions. My calf pointing forward and from here this control point backwards. This will be also painful for the shoulder. Then the the 
the capability of, uh, of reaction shear may be striking, kneeling down to break, striking, having control, makes a very powerful movement to protect and the, the, the efficiency is not on the, on the speed, the efficiency is uh, to give uh, conditions to the other bodyguards, to the other Sukhonian protectors to take out of the situation the law that is threatened on this circumstance. Then, this is uh, some basic techniques, some basic ideas that we could apply for Genpi Sah uh, bodyguards and this uh, kind of mercenary. I hope that you have enjoyed all those details. Thank you very much and see you on the next video. Keep watching our channel, please. Goodbye.